The pair went toe-to-toe -to -toe in March last year, when Bellew stopped his bitter foe in the 11th round after Hay had ruptured his Achilles mid-bout. After undergoing surgery, Hay pushed for a rematch blaming the injury on his defeat, and found Bellew more than willing to return to the ring in a bid to put on a repeat performance. The second clash was initially scheduled for December last year but Hay suffered yet another injury, this time tearing his biceps muscle in a freak training injury. It was once again under the knife for the Londoner but he is now fully fit and raring to go. Here's all you need to know about the eagerly anticipated heavyweight showdown. Tony Bellew and David Hay face off in London, image, action images via Reuters, when is the fight? The rematch takes place on Saturday May 5th from the O2 Arena in London. What time will it start? The ring walk should begin between 10 p.m. and 10.30 p.m., assuming the fight's schedule is running on time. How can I watch it? The fight will be aired on Sky Box Office at a cost of £19.95. Click here for more details. You can also listen to the fight on Talk Sport Radio. And, of course, you'll be able to follow it live with Mirror Sport. Blue beat Hay in their first fight a year ago, Image, Getty, who is on the undercard. Paul Butler v Emmanuel Rodriguez It could be a big night for Liverpool as former world champion Butler bids to regain the IBF bantamweight title. He first won the belt back in 2014 when he took on Stuart Hall but then relinquished it to return to super flyweight. Butler was stopped by Zelani Ted and has since been on a rebuilding journey. In the opposite corner stands the unbeaten Rodriguez who was stopped 12 of his 17 opponents to date. Other than two low-profile bouts in the United States, the 25-year-old has fought exclusively in his home country of Puerto Rico. Martin Joseph Ward v James Tennyson The European super featherweight title is on the line in this one but regardless, it looks set to be a cracker. Ward has built an impressive resume over the last few years having won the British title outright. He added the European strap last December when he stopped Julie Gilner at York Hall and now makes his first defense against Tennyson. The Northern Irishman has won his last five fights since losing to Ryan Walsh in 2016 but will face a step up in class against Ward. John Ryder v Jamie Cox A thrilling super middleweight contest is on the agenda in this one as both men stand at a crossroads in their respective careers. Ryder has lost two of his last four, against Rocky Fielding and Jack Arnfield, but impressed last time out in stopping Patrick Nielsen. Cox on the other hand has lost just once in his career, against George Groves in the World Boxing Super Series quarterfinals. That was a big step up in class and he will be out to show he can return to that level in the future. George Groves, left, against Jamie Cox, Image, PA, Lenroy Thomas v Joe Joyce having won Olympic silver in 2016, Joyce turned professional with Hay last year and has quickly racked up three stoppage victories. His opponent suffered a frustrating technical draw in his rematch with Dave Allen in March having outpointed the Doncaster man last May. Thomas has struggled at the elite level however and Joyce will need to impress if he is to continue his own journey to the top of the sport. What have they said? Baloo discussing the lead up to the crucial encounter, Baloo discussed his training camp, it's been a tough camp, a hard camp, but I'm in fantastic shape. I go beyond the call of duty you could say? It's been hard in Rotherham at times, being away from home, and back and forth. The training levels have been taken up. All my numbers have gone up from my stats. I'm 35, so it doesn't get any easier, it gets tougher. But the fact my numbers are still going up, show that I'm still improving. I'm still getting physically better with each and every camp, Hey, on the other side of the ring, Hey is taking a more mature approach in the rematch, do I really just want to be remembered as someone who talked crap? I could add another million pounds to the earnings of this fight by throwing a glass of water at a press conference or slapping him, he says. I don't want to be known just for selling tickets and pay-per-view television. I've done that throughout my career. How about the merit of my work? At 37, I am thinking about how I want to be remembered. Blue celebrates after victory over Hey Image, Action Images via Reuters Boxing Records Bellu fights 32 wins 29 co 19 losses 2 draws 1 Hey fights 31 wins 28 co 26 losses 3 draws 0 What are the odds? Blue 7 quarters draw 33 over 1 Hey 1 half odds from Betfair.